Are you tired of hearing crickets on social media? Wondering where to get seen by the right people? Or frustrated with the growth of your business? Then the Speaker Breakthrough Session is just for you. During this free 20-minute discovery call, I'll help you recognize where you're leaving money and opportunity on the table. You'll walk away with tips and a strategy to leverage speaking opportunities to get positioned as the expert, visible to the right people, and monetize your expertise. Book your call at speakandstandout.com forward slash SBS for Speaker Breakthrough Session. Okay, let's talk about sales, selling, and how public speaking can help you communicate better with your customers. Let's get on to the show. Are you a coach, consultant, or service provider who's frustrated with the growth of your business? You're in the right place. I'm your host, Lori M. Urabito, and you're listening to Be In Demand, where I talk about how to leverage speaking opportunities to grow your business, get positioned as the expert, and monetize your expertise. Let's get on to the show. Hey, so this is part three of this little mini series, and this is probably the final episode, but I really want to talk about the sales department. Because as somebody who worked for Siemens with the sales department, my job was sort of uh, in between the sales department and the customer. I would help the sales department sell the piece of equipment because I had worked with patients and hospitals and could speak the ultrasound language, really was the middle person who could communicate with the people that we were trying to sell the machine to. And then once the machine was sold, I would go in and customize the machine for their needs. So part of my job was really being able to listen, ask really good curious questions, help them customize the machine, show them how to use the machine, both during the sales demo and even afterwards, especially when they have different types of patients, like technically difficult patients or very special occasion type exams, really showing them and educating them how to best use their machine. And that all started with really learning coaching skills, learning how to listen, and learning how to ask great questions, and not being afraid to ask the question or look foolish. I just took on that role. So this came from you know, me being that middle person when I was working for Siemens, But also I've done a lot of public speaking skills trainings and also auditing demos. There was a company that I had done a number of audits for, and these were million-dollar sales presentations that would run for two to three days. So they would bring me in, and I would watch the team, the team being made of project managers, engineers, you know, the owners of the company all these different people that were coming together to do this amazing presentation. And as I shared with you in the part two episode, you know, I really give people the biggest bang for their buck when it comes to speaking. It's like, here are the tips that are going to help you out the most, like eye contact, having two computer screens. And the reason why that was one of the biggest tips that I gave this particular company was so that They didn't have to be turning around to look at their slide. I wanted them to have a computer that was right in front of them so that they could see the slide that was behind them on the screen. So that's just one of the tips that I actually gave them. Uh, Another tip that might actually surprise you is be careful what you eat the night before or for breakfast. If it's something that's too salty and you find that you are requiring a lot of water, you're going to be needing to drink a lot of water. And that sometimes people can feel like, oh my God, I'm drinking a lot of water. That must mean that I'm nervous. It might look like I'm nervous. So I always tell people like, try not to eat anything that's too salty. So no burger and fries the night before, no real salty breakfast, you know, before the demo, before the sales presentation. But really just embracing your sales presentation and looking at each of them as a learning experience. Here's something else that I would teach them. Is to have somebody on the team that whenever somebody is speaking and then they're doing some Q&A, somebody who writes down every question that is asked. 
So if you're on a sales team and you're doing like a sales demo or you're speaking at an industry meeting, if you're not recording yourself, and I already s- spoke in part two about why you should record yourself. If you're not recording yourself, have somebody else who is there with you who is writing down all the questions. Here's why. If one audience is asking those questions, another audience in the future will ask those questions. There is gold in those questions. And also those questions will help you understand what didn't I explain well enough? What did I breeze over? How could I have changed that so that that question wouldn't have been asked because I would have answered it in the presentation? So there's lots of gold in those questions. Also in those questions, whether you're a careerist or you're an entrepreneur, when you are speaking, think about those questions as what other people are interested in. They might ask you questions that have nothing to do with the presentation that you actually just gave, but they think it's related and it's like a related question to them. But what it tells you is, oh, they're also interested in knowing more about this. Maybe I need to create a presentation on this. Maybe I need to cover this the next time I'm doing this particular presentation. So lots of gold nuggets are going to be in those questions. So really listen to those questions and take them in and don't be, sometimes people can be a little like, wow, I can't believe like they're asking me that when I covered it in the presentation. Just look at those questions as feedback and just answer them with grace. Now, sometimes people will ask you a question that you don't have the answer for and it's okay. Nobody expects you to know the answer to everything. Although if it is your piece of equipment, if it is your service, is there somebody that you could turn to to say, you know, could somebody in our engineering department, in our customer service department, could you answer this question and finding the right person? But let's just say that you're by yourself. You don't have that answer. It's okay to say, Would you mind coming up to me afterwards and giving me your contact information? And if there's anybody else here in the audience who also would like this information, give me your contact information and I will get that to you. And then be very integral and do what you said you were going to do and follow up. Provide that information. Provide the answer to that question, that stat, that data, that maybe they just wanted a PDF that you could provide, just follow up with that information. That will take you miles down the road, so to speak. Another great public speaking exercise for any sort of company is to actually speak at industry meetings. You know, this is going to be great for not only the company brand, but also for your personal brand. I was recently working with another company and was helping them build up their brand awareness. And by speaking, You know, you're going to start building that relationship with meeting planners. And I come from the healthcare industry. And let's just say healthcare conferences can be extremely dry. Sorry, doctors. If you haven't worked with me, and I've worked with a number of doctors, they can be a little dry. Their slides are dry. They're reading off their slides. And it doesn't, you know, meeting planners just know this. And even like myself going into a conference, it's like I'm here for the credits to maintain my credentials and I'm just uh, psyching myself up for what I'm about to experience. But if you can be that engaging speaker, if you can really capture the audience, captivate them, tell stories, the meeting planner is going to see this. They're going to love this. So that the next time they are planning a conference for their industry meeting, their industry conference, whether it's yearly, whether it's a big trade show, and they see you submit a proposal to speak, more likely you're going to get chosen to speak in that slot, especially if they've already seen you, especially if they've been able to experience or even just see your evaluations. The better you are on stage, the bigger your brand, you know, people are going to come up to you afterwards like potential customers. This is just a fabulous way to not only grow your own personal brand, but the business's brand, that these are the sort of people 
you know, the companies that I've worked with invested in their people with something like public speaking. Let's teach our people to communicate on a stage at a trade show when they're doing business presentations or sales presentations for a specific customer. Let's give them that confidence to communicate effectively. And that just like the ROI on that is like exponential. So you salespeople, you're really like the face of the company, you know, and to be able to just feel confident sharing knowledge with other people at a trade show or even a networking event, being able to give and deliver your elevator pitch or just like your introduction on like who you are. I consider like your introduction is kind of like that authority section inside in-demand signature speech, my methodology. You can use your authority section in so many different areas, not just on stage. You can use it on a podcast. Anywhere that you're introducing yourself, you know, this is something that I teach inside in demand signature speech because it's so valuable and so versatile. And as a matter of fact, like all the different parts, all the different segments that are inside in demand signature speech, my methodology, you can just like really use them to pull them out, use them in an interview, use them when speaking to one on one customers. Use them when you're speaking on a stage or just talking to prospects as you're walking by in the exhibit hall. So many different ways. So I hope that you've learned a lot. And I hope that I have also sparked your curiosity to actually let me learn more about public speaking. How can I improve the skills that I do have into getting better? Maybe I'll start recording you know, my sales presentations just for my own benefit so that I can get better. Another idea is just to record yourself. Like if you're on Zoom with a potential customer or even a phone call, that's so easy just to take another one of your devices and just hit record. It's just for yourself. I want you to be the only person that's going to have access to this, but really evaluate it, listen to it. Some of the best feedback that I got when I was working for Siemens was a manager said to me, do you know what you sound like? And at first I was like, no, actually, I do know what I sounded like. So what I started doing was, as I was leaving voice messages for people, because you know there's always that way that you can actually listen to it before you hit send. So I started listening to myself and I was like, ooh, I didn't see that quite well. I want to re-say that. So I would like re-record, re-record. Sometimes I re-recorded a number of times until I was happy with it. But going through that particular type of exercise made me leave better messages, more articulate messages, not messages that made the other person like wonder, what was she talking about? I didn't quite understand that. Or maybe I said my phone number way too fast because a lot of times that's what people do. It's like 603-765-7 and it's like the other person's trying to write it down so fast. So learn how to communicate better. Learn by watching other people. What do you like about the way that they present? How do you like that speaker? What is it that's compelling about that speaker? How can you add that to yours, that style, storytelling? Maybe you're just like, wow, they're very dramatic. And the way that they tell the story, it's like they're in the story. Maybe you want to add that also. So learn from others. Learn from your mistakes. Learn from the way that you wish that it had gone. But in the end, I want you to start embracing public speaking, learning how to communicate even more effectively with your customers, your potential customers, audiences so that you build your brand. Don't be afraid of this. Public speaking is like we really all are doing this. Just a lot of people don't think that, well, I'm not a public speaker because I'm just over here talking with my one-on-one -on -one customers or, you know, I'm going to talk about my healthcare. I'm just talking with my patients, one patient at a time. That's not public speaking, but it is. It's a form of communication, and you can get better at it.
you can feel more confident. And I know that you probably got like a bunch of questions. You're like, yeah, but how, how? So I just want to let you know that if you are running an organization, you're running a team, and you want to have a conversation about what it would be like to bring me into your team, me to do a training for your organization, your department, feel free to reach out to me personally. My email address is down below, but it is la at speakandstandout.com, and we will have a conversation. I will end up sending you a meeting link, and we will have a conversation about your team. And then what happens is I would send you a proposal, giving you choices, something to decide on what's best going to fit your needs. But each of my proposals are personalized because learning public speaking is not cookie cutter. At least that's not how I treat any of my trainings, any of my private coaching. Everything is personalized to the person and the group that I'm working with. So till next time, I want you to be in demand. And again, if you would like to reach out to me and have that conversation about bringing me into your organization, your team, you can reach me at la at speakandstandout.com. And so till next week, I want you to be in demand. Are you tired of hearing crickets on social media? Wondering where to get seen by the right people? Or frustrated with the growth of your business? Then the Speaker Breakthrough Session is just for you. During this free 20-minute discovery call, I'll help you recognize where you're leaving money and opportunity on the table. You'll walk away with tips and a strategy to leverage speaking opportunities to get positioned as the expert, visible to the right people, and monetize your expertise. Book your call at speakandstandout.com forward slash SBS for speaker breakthrough session.